everyone! I've been making videos with the hopes of spreading a little sunshine and happiness in people's internet feeds. But with everything that's going on this 2020, especially this pandemic that we're in, it's becoming more and more difficult. With bad news after bad news after bad news, we ask the question, is there any more sunshine left to spread? This new series is us looking around, believing that there still is happiness and hope and love in this world. Join me as I share inspiring stories of people who did not give up and who continue to fight despite the worst that this coronavirus has to offer. This is Look what Corona made me do. A lot of us have been staying at home for almost half a year now. A lot of things have been cancelled. And for many, plans and dreams have been put on hold, if not thrown out the window. Before the pandemic lockdown happened, Nika put a lot of time and effort reviewing for an exam so she can work as a nurse in the UK. COVID-19 canceled the exams, leaving Nika no choice but to ask, Now what? I don't know what to do or I don't have any plan B. So, hindi ko alam ano plano ko after. Meanwhile, Nika's sister Jen was facing her own battles. Stuck in Manila where COVID-19 cases continued to rise. Two days before the scheduled lockdown in Manila, I was planning to go to another country for a visit. But then, uh, unfortunately, I was locked down in Manila for three months without going home in Batangas. There, I had to manage my sanity because <laughs> I was alone, not with my family. So it's quite sad and I was always thinking of going home. Their eldest sister, Lian, was on work leave when lockdown started. Lian has always been active in volunteer work, having a heart to help anyone in need. Just a few weeks before lockdown, she helped organize an outreach for her hometown, which was affected by the ash fall of the Al Volcano. And stuck at home, her question was, how can I help? We noticed that a lot of people are craving for food. When you browse your social media, there were a lot of people who were posting about food. So we started a Facebook page and people start ordering food then we were the ones who delivered it to them. During the first stages of the lockdown, it was very difficult to buy comfort food like pizzas, cake, fried chicken, and all others. Lian gave people in her hometown access to food that they crave. Thus, random cravings was born. What's inspiring was there were people who are not here in this, this town but uh, who works abroad. They asked us to deliver food for their loved ones. And I found it very inspiring when I, I see a business becoming a mean for others to send love and um, thoughtfulness in the time of pandemic. If you knew anything about us Filipinos, you would know that we love to eat. And food brings us together! Random cravings allowed relatives from around the world to connect with their loved ones at home. Whether it's sending a birthday cake, celebrating graduation with pizza, or just simply sending donuts, or any food that they know will help their loved ones go through these hard times. So I got a message from a friend. It's a random message. He asked me if I know someone who would be very interested in buying his business. It's a small milk tea shop and um, he decided to sell it because he's opening another branch in another town. It's kind of my dream to have a, my own cafe. So when, I, when that idea came, I, I thought about it. I prayed about it and I talked to my sister and to my family and then we decided to purchase the business. After more than a hundred days apart, the sisters were finally reunited 
and work together to fulfill a dream they never knew would come during a pandemic. My sister told me that she will be starting a business, this cafe, this Random Cravings Cafe. And then she asked me kung pwede daw akong mag-manage ng cafe na to. So at first I was hesitant. I even applied for other jobs like nursing jobs in, in Manila. So I prayed and, and sinabi ko na sige, tutulong ako sa cafe. So now I'm managing the store. <laughs> Parang general manager ko dito. So it has always been a desire or a dream for me to start a cafe or a restaurant. And um, I know God for a fact that He is kind of witty in terms of timing, but I didn't realize that this cafe would come a surprise because it was realized during a pandemic. Because um, our main goal is really to just survive, but then God has been so good and faithful in uh, realizing this dream of ours, my sisters and I. Pursuing and fulfilling a dream isn't without challenges, but the sisters are finding it to become a valuable learning experience as they learn new skills and grow. Siguro pinakamahirap na part is pag super madaming tao, tas na overwhelm ako kasi since first time kong mag-handle ng business, wala akong idea since um, lahat ng working work ko is related sa nursing. So, wala talaga akong idea kung paano ako mag-handle ng isang cafe. Pero, thankful naman ako na in that three weeks na nag-open kami, um, na-handle ko naman and nakaka-adapt naman ako. And I'm very grateful to that. And as they grow and learn, they also find comfort in doing something that they love. This has been a blessing for me because it has kept my sanity whenever I cook for people, whenever I see them enjoying the food that I prepare. It's something that really delights my heart, especially if they enjoy the healthier options. So it's, it's really something that I'm grateful for during this pandemic. It's hard not to focus on the negative things that this pandemic brings. People are losing jobs, businesses are closing down, plans are being put on hold. But it's the Leans and the Jens and the Nikas that keep us believing that there are so lots of things to be grateful for and a lot more reasons to keep pushing forward. I know many people could relate to the feeling of being stuck. I had a lot of plans for, for this year, but it turned out differently. Doon sa mga katulad ko na hindi natuloy yung plans dahil sa COVID, um, keep going lang guys. Hindi man natuloy yung mga plans natin, pero alam ko na may plano din si God or ang Panginoon para sa atin. God is not cancelled, so they just have to trust His timing, to trust His faithfulness. That he will lead us through that even though it's really seem dark in, in this situation, uh, I know that He will guide us through in the, in the light. So keep trusting Him and then I think, I believe that He will uh, lead us to realizing our dreams and desires. God is not and will never ever be cancelled, which is why your faith should never be cancelled too. Whatever your situation is, I hope that this episode brings you hope. Ready to face another day tomorrow. Join me again next time in another episode of... Look what Corona is!